Oh snap, Blaze is going live. Hey, good day, good day, good day, good day, good day, good day, good day. Hey, listen, thank you for joining me. Just in case you're joining me for the very first time, I'm your host, the one they call Brian Glaze Gibbs. And this is my story. This is my life. I talk about the good. I talk about the bad. I talk about the ugly. Hey, you know what? I just did a piece. I dropped a live last night in regards to um, Lorenzo Fat Cat Nichols as far as his release. Folks, listen, man, especially our young kids that's out there right now. Listen, man, Fat Cat going to spend a total of 49 years in jail, in prison. Because what? Because a, a two-year run? He had a two-year run where as far as he wanted being top dog, being what? A top drug dealer. You know what I'm saying? New York City. And got, had all the monies in the world, the millions, all the cars, all the drugs, all the girls. All, for what? Was two-year run making millions of dollars, but spending 49 years in jail. So you take that. You take those millions and you divide it up into 49 years imprisonment. Was it worth it, man? Folks, listen, crime doesn't pay. There's no shortcut in life. It's nothing worth the, the worst in the world to spend 49 years in jail or die in jail over what? Materialistic things. Man, our value, our core value have to change. Okay, feds take possession of Fat Cat Nichols at the New York parole him. Iconic Queens Kingpin see freedom on the horizon. Okay, April 8, 2022. Murderous New York drug law, Lorenzo Fat Cat Nichols could be a free man in just four years or less. The flashy and debonair Nichols, who have been incarcerated for the last three and a half decades in state prison, was paroled by the state of New York this week and transferred into custody of the feds, where he has an outdate of 2026. The 63-year-old queen crime boss was sentenced to 25 years to life for drug trafficking and gun possession in state court and is serving a concurrent 40 years term on federal racketeering, homicide, and money laundering charges. Because of the cooperation he provided the government from his 1992 Fed plea deal, the BOP could release him at any time by a judge reducing his sentence to time served. Nichols was the biggest drug dealer in Queens in the 80s. He pleaded guilty to ordering the execution of his parole officer, Brian Rooney, in 1985 as a revenge for violating him and sending him back to prison. He also admitted to ordering the gangland slaying of an ex-girlfriend, Maisha Hampshire, for stealing from his drug operation and a stick-up kid, Isaac Bolden, for robbing another one of his girlfriend at gunpoint in an alley. Okay, now, authorities suspect he also ordered a 1988 murder of New York Police Department officer Edward Burns, gunned down behind the wheel of his patrol car in South Jamaica, Queens. Nichols, born in Birmingham, Alabama, came to live with his mother in New York as a fifth grader. And by his late teenage, he planted a seed for a drug crew and organization that would go on to take the Big Apple by storm. With Howard, Howard Pappy Mason, Brian Glaze Gibbs, his crew top enforcer, and hitman. Fat Cat, mentoring and supplied the Supreme Team, led by Kenny Supreme McGriff and his nephew, Gerald Prince Miller. The Supreme Team spearheaded the Queen's drug world into the crack game and assumed control over the Basie Park housing project, according to DEA document. Nichols gave the Isaac Bowen, Bolden contract to Prince Miller to carry out. The Bolden, them saying, was targeted as well, but survived the attack. Nichols headquarter, his act activity out of Big Mac Deli, a raid of the deli in the summer of 1985, netted NYPD narcotics squad 180,000 in cash and large quantity of cocaine, heroin, and marijuana. Before getting locked up, Nichols taught Supreme McGriff how to be a Don, and McGriff would pay homage. Home video footage available on YouTube are air, and a number of television true crime documents show McGriff Tosin, a jail fat cat at a lavish party in concert in 1986. Filled with the era most popular rapper, McGriff 61 is serving a life prison sentence for multiple first degree homicide. Hey folks, listen, here it is right now, cat. Cat is eligible 
okay, for release from the feds in 2026 in four more years, okay? But what folks don't understand, once he's released from the feds in 2026, he got to do eight years. He got to do a total of eight years for Florida for his involvement in a stolen car ring. Now, sit back and look at it, okay? That means he'll be 74 to 75 years old before he's eligible to be released. Now, if you look at it and you've seen picture over the years, Fat Cat went from being Fat Cat to being, you know, Mr. Universe because he got in great shape. So being that he got in great shape and I heard he watched what he eat and, you know, like I say, he, he's in great shape. So to me, he's more or less right now preparing himself to get freedom one day. But at 74, 75, you still got some life in you. So even then, when the time comes, you know I'm saying, okay, cool. You're looking at 2000, 2026. So by 2034, you know I'm saying, right now is he would be 74 to 75 years old, but he would have spent 49 years of his life. 49 years of his life. You know I'm saying, incarcerated. Not counting the other what. One and a half, the two years that he spent as a, you know, child. So, folks, 51 years in jail. Was it worth it, man? Listen, man, we got to be smart about things, man. Imagine if he took those 50 years and put into, like I said, the workforce. Guess what? He would have been able to be there for his wife. He would have been able to be there for his kids, his grandkids. He would have been able to be there for them doing a wedding, doing childbirth, do all that good stuff. That man missed everything, man. He missed everything. And right now, if and when the time presents itself and he's able to do an interview, I guarantee you that man would say, guess what? It wasn't worth it. Crime doesn't pay. I guarantee you right now, he wish he had a chance to do it all over again. If he had a chance to do it all over again, later for the name, later for that street credibility, later for that street fame, it wasn't worth it, man. And that's what I want people to understand, man. Like I told you, yes, Hopefully right now is, guess what? You know what? I know he, I, I, I know him personally. And right now is even back then when everything was going crazy and everything was, you know, only thing that was on people's mind back then was violent, was blood. If somebody do something to you or they rob you, they steal from you or they did something to your family, guess what? Everybody knew it's like retaliation. And like I told you right now was, I can remember when they threw that firebomb to his mother's house. And right now is I wanted to take revenge. And he stopped me. He stopped me from doing that. So once again, because once again, a lot of times people understand when you got so much of blood on your hand, it get old. When you are in control, are you only thing you have to do is say the word and it ending people's life, people being murdered. After a while, folks, listen, man, it's nothing cool about that. And what I'm saying is this, even the same thing that Bobby Smurda said when he was away and how Fat Cat saved him. Otherwise, he would not be free now. So to me, I can remember being Bobby age when Cat saved me. Hey, folks, listen, man. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Share. Get your signed copy of the Beyond Lucky book, The Brian Glaze Gibbs Story, a true story of crack, money, murder, and redemption by emailing me at Brian, B-R-I-A-N, Gibbs, G-I-B-B-S, 1201 at yahoo.com to place your order. Also, folks, if you know anybody that's suffering from high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high weight, high sugar, poor circulating in their blood, heart disease. You know what? Get your Panoxol. Natural ingredients that can save your life, that can, you know, right now help you with your high cholesterol, help you, you know what I'm saying, with your high blood pressure, help you all the way around, folks. Right now, man, if you got right now your wife, your moms, your grandmother, whoever, you know what I'm saying, you know, ladies, if you got your husband, you got your boyfriend, you got your father, you got your uncle, you got your grandfather. Listen, folks, right now is health is wealth. And the difference is when you know certain things that can work, utilize it. I'm going to have a major, major promotion going on with Panoxol. And right now, everybody is welcome. Everybody's welcome. Like I tell you, folks, hit the like button, subscribe, support taking donation right now for the BGG movement. Once again, crime doesn't pay. If I can change, anybody can change. You know why? Because change comes within. One love. Have you checked your tire pressure today?
I don't have a flat. Have you checked your blood pressure today? No, I don't feel sick. Yo, Blaze, what up? Just finished reading your book, Beyond Lucky, The Brian Glaze Story. Crack, money, murder, and redemption. Great book from the beginning to the end. Folks, get the book. Get your signed copy. Awesome book. Awesome story. Free cat. Free pappy. Free supreme. Free the rest of the family. Peace, Glaze.